like I just need to collapse and have everything fall on me and I'll just be like, yeah. Hey guys, it's Caitlin here and today I'm filming a different sort of video. I teamed up with my friend on Instagram, Via Corinne, who lives in Australia and we both sent each other vegan swag bags or packages, I guess, of cool vegan products that we each have in our own countries that we can't get in the other country. So basically, from the people who I follow on Instagram, Australia seems like a magical fairyland of vegan tropical fruits and raw chocolates and just amazingness, and I know I need to go there as soon as possible. But unfortunately, I'm a broke college student and can't afford to go there any time in the near future, so this will have to be my substitute. Also, Corinne filmed a video on this as well, so I will link her YouTube channel and her Instagram below, and you guys should definitely check her out. I love her. She's so rad and... I don't know she's just amazing she is a total sweetheart and sent me two boxes and I don't even know why I just love her to death and I am so so excited so I'm gonna open both of them but I'm not gonna look at the contents and then I'm gonna go through everything with you guys Ooh, it already smells like chocolate I can't wait I'm so excited Okay. Oh my gosh. It smells so good. Oh, there's a letter. Oh no. Everything got a little wet. It's okay. I'm sure it'll all still be great. Um, here's the first one. It's a Loving Earth Organic Caramel Bar. Oh my gosh. I see people post about these and Panna Chocolate all the time. I think this is the thing that smells so good. I'm already excited already. We're off to a great start. Ooh, a pan of chocolate. This one is fig and wild orange. And I am obsessed with figs. If you follow me on Instagram, you know my two favorite fruits are figs and cherries, which kind of sucks for me because they're the two fruits that have like, I feel like the shortest season. But um, yes, I am very excited to try this. I think these fell out of the packaging. Ooh, yeah. It's dark chocolate. Not sure if Aldi is a thing in the United States, but essentially wholesale supermarket. Yes, we do have Aldi here. I don't really go to it though, because there isn't really one near my house. Um, they're okay. I, I don't know, I don't really like them. I feel like the produce goes bad faster, but I don't know, that could just be me. And I love dark chocolate. So, uh, so much chocolate. Ooh, what is this? This is a Loving Earth Love Jew Coconut Milk Raw Organic Chocolate. And she says, so good. It's coconut and raw cacao. Oh, so it's like a milk chocolate. I don't know if you can see. And I don't know, like, m people are always surprised to find out that dark chocolate is mostly vegan. But, yeah, it's just cacao butter and cocoa. Like, there are no cows attached to the, like, cocoa trees. Oh my gosh, yes! Raw caramel bikinis. I always see this on, yeah, she said she always sees them on Instagram. I always see it on Instagram too. And I'm like, what? How do I make this? Because I don't live in Australia and I can never have them. It's buckwheat, raw agave syrup, raw mesquite powder, cinnamon, raw maca powder, and pink salt. Ooh, oh my gosh. They look so good. I'm definitely going to put them on top of my nice cream. Or maybe just like eat them by themselves is that acceptable it is a sukin quick cleanse kit it's a cleansing water and a facial moisturizer this is actually really cool because i think it's hard to find vegan skincare products and it's not really something you think of but i feel like the beauty industry has a lot of crap in it i want to smell it it smells clean it also smells like chocolate because I think it was in the same package. Okay, box two. <laughs> oh my gosh! I got another note! And these aren't uh, water damaged this time. Okay, so this letter is basically describing everything in it. Organic gluten-free chocolate brownie mix. And it's in Spanish too. Interesting. And it's tummy friendly. Dairy-free, vegan. Yeah, this is cool. I don't know if the brownie mixes are here in the States, if they're vegan or not. 
We usually have to add like eggs and vegetable oil to them, so obviously it doesn't make it vegan. I don't think they are, but I know some cake mixers are. But cool, definitely gonna try these. Fruit free muesli, oven baked with crunchy almonds, pecans, and pepitas with a hint of cinnamon. Cinnamon is always a yes. The packaging is so cute. She says this goes really good on banana ice cream. I think it's cool that it's fruit free because sometimes the fruit gets really hard when you put it on something cold, so definitely excited for this. Oh yeah, and you guys have these health star ratings. I don't really know what that is, but it's 4.5 stars, so that sounds pretty good. Oh my gosh, adorable little straws. They're so cute. Look at them. Oh, these are so perfect. I'll have to like plan for special uh, days because I don't know if I could reuse them because they're made from paper. So it'll be like a special moment when I have one. And ooh. Raw chocolate goji berries. That sounds really good. Ooh, a sweet balsamic reduction. I love balsamic reduction. I always add vinegar to my salads, so I think I'm gonna try this next time. And these look like tea bags. I'm always a fan of tea, so it smells good. I'll have to try it out. And ooh, yeah. Matcha! I love matcha. I feel like matcha is so much more popular in Australia, though. Like, there aren't that many United States companies. And I've seen this brand used a lot, this Kenko tea. So, I'm very excited to try it. Woohoo! This is all so exciting. Oh my gosh. I need to, like, plan all of my meals around one of these things so I can try everything. And she sent me another pan of chocolate. This one is 80, so I guess it's a darker chocolate a biogen super bio bio gland superfoods she says that they're really popular in australia i've never heard of them but it's a raw juice powder mixed with water for a refreshing juice packed with super greens interesting we kind of have these except they're really bad for you and you mix it to make like gatorade what do they call crystal light they're full of like fake sugar so Another point for Australia. So my camera battery died just as I was talking about how much I love beets. But I got these beetroot chips. I eat, I mix it a lot with my bananas to make ice cream. Uh, so these look awesome. I just want to open everything first and then I think I'm going to pick like a few things to try. But yeah, there's two things left. Barbecue shapes. Um, yes. She says, this isn't the healthiest thing, but these shapes are such a huge thing here. You will love it. So much flavor in one pack, too. I am obsessed with barbecue. Why can't we have... We have barbecue chips here, but I feel like they don't taste like barbecue sauce. So, I'll have to try these. And it says they're baked and not fried. So, I mean, they're probably not terrible for you. Interesting. And there's one more thing. It's a cute little bag. It says apple and bee. It looks cute. This is good for like holding sunglasses and stuff. Or maybe I'll just like put some chocolate in here. Put some balsamic reduction. A tea bag and I'll like, I'm good to go. I don't need sunglasses, I'll just have snacks. Thank you so much, Corinne. I love everything and I don't even know what to try. She sent me so much. Hmm. I want to try the chips. They look like um, oyster crackers. That's what we call them except ours aren't barbecue flavored. Yep. These are really good. I feel like some of this stuff would be better like on things like the bikinis and the muesli. I'll try goji berries. Ah! It almost ripped everywhere. That would have been sad. I would have eaten it anyways though, let's be honest. Mmm, these are good. They remind me of um like chocolate covered uh cranberries, is that a thing? Or like mm, chocolate covered uh raisins. I feel like we have something like that here in the States that I can't think of. So obviously I don't eat very often. They're good. I'm going to try chocolate. 
I'm going to try a piece of the fig and wild, the fig and wild orange chocolate. Oh, they're so pretty. It says love the earth. But this one's pan of chocolate. I feel like loving earth should have that. Wouldn't that make more sense? But whatever. Okay, I'm going to have a square of it. I love Australia. It's so good. Oh my gosh, it's so good. This is when the choirs of angels come down and start singing hallelujah. I don't know if I have chocolate in my teeth. Eh? Mm -hmm. Can you guys tell me? Just kidding. I'm just gonna like test it out. I don't know why I just didn't use the cap. That would have made a lot more sense. That's what it's made for, but you know, whatever. It smells really good. I don't know. It's like aloe. Grapefruit. And there's orange and tangerine. Oh, that's probably what it is. Now my hands are going to be as soft as my face should be. Ooh. It's like a creamsicle, but in a good way. Okay. You guys are probably all bored right now. And I'm just looking around, staring at everything like a kid in a candy store. Which, I guess, there's enough chocolate. I guess it could be considered a candy store. There's, like, so many good things. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. A big thank you to Corinne again. She, I love you to the ends of the earth and back. And Australia is basically the end of the earth for me because it's the other side of the world. It's still so good. Can't get over it. I hope you all have had great days so far and continue to have great days. And I will talk to you later. And I'm probably just going to turn the camera off and continue to eat all of these snacks. But you don't really need to see that.